In this video, I will answer the question if hyperbaric oxygen therapy is safe and beneficial for patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Some say that it, it's beneficial and it's safe. Others claim that it is contraindicated. Watch this video to find out. First, let's look at what is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's a lung condition that comes usually in two forms, chronic bronchitis, which is inflammation and narrowing of airways, and it leads to excess cough with mucus expectoration. Second form is emphysema, condition when alveoli are destroyed, and it leads to difficulty expectorating. Symptoms of COPD are difficulty breathing, especially when performing a physical activity, fatigue, cough, mucus expectoration, and general sense of not feeling well. COPD is caused by inhalation of toxic fumes. Smoking or air pollutants are the most common causes of COPD. It's a progressive disease. It starts with light symptoms and it leads to severe forms that can uh, interfere with the quality of life. There is no cure for COPD. However, its symptoms are managed with various medications, such as bronchodilators, corticosteroids, oxygen therapy, and pulmonary exercises, such as breathing exercises. Quality of life is substantially decreased in patients with COPD. That's why we are constantly looking for other treatment options. And hyperbaric oxygen therapy has been proposed as one of the treatment options for patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Can it be used safely and does it have benefits? Let's find out. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is not the same as oxygen therapy. In hyperbaric oxygen therapy, oxygen or ambient air are applied in a pressurized vessel called hyperbaric chamber, and it allows for greater oxygen delivery to cells and tissues. Oxygen therapy, on the other hand, is breathing pure oxygen under normal atmospheric pressure. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be used with great benefits for many conditions. You can learn about it from other videos on my YouTube channel. In patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, hyperbaric oxygen treatments have been shown to improve quality of life, improve breathing, help with expectoration, improve function of the cilia, this little hair-like structures that help propel mucus upwards so it could be expectorated. And it can be used safely in the first stages of COPD. Benefits of hyperbaric therapy can be uh, even bigger if this therapy is used together with uh, breathing exercises, physiotherapy, and bronchodilators. Pressure and frequency of the treatments should be determined by your hyperbaric practitioner. In my practice, I tend to start from milder pressures as 1.3 and 1.5 atmospheres and then slowly build up pressure to 2 and 2.2 atmospheres absolute for patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. All this is true for patients in early stages of COPD. When we look at patients at late stages of COPD, they tend to develop condition that is called CO2 retention, carbon dioxide retention. It's a condition when carbon dioxide cannot be evacuated fully from the lungs and it can lead to other condition which is quite dangerous and it's called hypercapnia. That's the increased pressure of carbon dioxide in blood. Both conditions can be diagnosed with pulmonary function tests and arterial blood gases tests. 
For patients in later stages of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, if hyperbaric oxygen therapy is indicated for other conditions, for example, they might have a wound that is not healing, and hyperbarics would be the only therapy that can help them uh, avoid amputation of the limb. Hyperbaric therapy can be applied. However, first, this patient needs to be tested for their arterial blood gases. The test results need to be evaluated by hyperbaric practitioner, and then they will receive clearance hopefully for hyperbaric therapy, which should be supervised by a hyperbaric practitioner. To summarize, hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be beneficial for patients in early stages of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. In later stages, it can be applied with caution and only when patients are cleared by their hyperbaric practitioner after doing arterial blood gases test and pulmonary function test. I hope you found this information helpful and if so, please give this video likes so more people can see it. If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section below.